Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you a quick and easy pattern tutorial to make these passy clips. You can make these quicker than going to the store and buying a gift for a baby shower. Seriously, that easy and that quick. All you're going to need is about three and a half by nine inches of fabric. So as you know, that's it's very small. So that's all you'll need for each one. You'll need to get, these are known as mitten clips or suspender clips, They're like a little alligator clip. You can buy these at a Joann's or Hobby Lobby or online. Okay, so there's the clip. Mine are a one inch ID to fit on a one inch wide fabric. Then for the supplies, straight pins, scissors, fabric, five inches of quarter inch elastic, or you can use quarter inch uh, ribbon. Whatever it is, you need about five inches. If you want, you can use a rotary cutter and a straight edge with a mat, or else just use scissors if that's all you have. All right, let's get started. All right, guys. So now you have your piece of fabric cut at three and a half by nine. I like to take the, the short ends of the fabric. As you can see, I have them, this one's pressed in pretty good. Press them in about a quarter of an inch towards the wrong side on both short ends of the fabric. Once you do that, fold your fabric the long way and find center and give that a good press as well. You can open that up, fold the sides in towards the center, and press it again. Okay, so this piece right here ends up being approximately one inch by eight and a half inches. Since my fabric is directional, like there's a little bird, so it has a top and a bottom. At the top, is where I'm gonna put the suspender clip or mittens clip, alligator clip, whatever you wanna call it. I like to fold the fabric down approximately half of an inch or a little bit more. And I pin it. And then you take your five inches of elastic or you can use a ribbon. Fold it in half. Open this up. I stick it in about, again, about half of an inch. Try to center it in the, in the opening. And you can fix this when you get to the machine if it's not quite centered, but at least it gets you started. So basically, there's your little passy clip. I just took this to the machine sew it around the perimeter and then I give it an extra stitch back and forth by the ribbon and back and forth at the clip just to kind of make it really secure so nothing's gonna break. I also had labels made on Etsy. Had a, a, another lady make me some labels. You can have some labels made if you plan on doing more of this. You can even have a little made with love or or your name, whatever. Or you can even have the child's name if you're gonna make a lot of these for the same child. So, all right, this is it. That is the Passy Clip Tutorial. Super easy, super fun. Here are a few more of the ones I've made. Uh, so this one here has the ribbon. This one has elastic. This one has ribbon, so. Like I said, use whatever you want. And it only, it takes such a small amount of fabric that you can really make so many of these. All right, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions and um, we'll see you next week for another tutorial.